25 crowns of asparagus for us along the back side in this lower area behind the existing asparagus. The idea is that we're going to, as the fronds come up, they'll look ferny. We're going to cover them with more digester manure so that they get deeper and deeper and it feeds them. This year, no matter what comes up in that part of it in the back and next year, we need to just leave it. Let it fern, feathery, and then come back and feed itself. Uh, this older asparagus we have, it's coming up, it's starting to work, it's starting to get happy. It likes a lot of water, so once we get our watering situation going, I think we'll find that we have more. Uh, the timing on your asparagus, the little tiny asparagus coming up that looks ferny, leave it and let it grow up and become fern so it feeds the crowns. So, like even, this one's questionable, you could pick it or leave it. Um, I would leave it because we have other larger ones. You can see them starting to come up. Uh, try to cut them all the way down to the surface level. And not even, cut the one next to them. Exactly. Uh, even when they're fat, they are awesome and wonderful. They are tender, especially this fresh, almost all the way to the very bottom. Um, I think what we should do, since the asparagus is, is not a lot of it, uh, when we come in and we have our groups, we can harvest and then have a drawing for who wants to put in their <laughs> ticket for the asparagus for the day. Sounds good. And that way, everybody gets a chance to try some of this really yummy asparagus because I think it's really important. Great idea. So that's my lesson for the day.